Oh, lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Excellent stuff. Now, there we are. I can't take the calls right at the moment because otherwise we can't get the introduction done. So there we are. So whoever was calling, I do apologize, but uh, we don't want you on right now. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo will open the lines in a wee minute and then we can get everybody funny. Fantastic. You're watching Scotty McClure and we are, of course, live with the big one, the internet phoning. It's all happening. I can't believe it. How amazing is that? Lovely to have you with us. And as I say, Dinky Doo to every single one of you. We've only got one hour, one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment. For not just one nation, but for every nation. Now, Scotty McClure has been celebrating because uh, Scotland had a win at Murrayfield. How good was that? So I was really rather chuffed with that. So that's what's been going on there, guys. If you're wondering what is what, I am very, very chuffed tonight. Fantastic. Now, I don't know if you can see me very well in the uh, in the picture tonight. I'll try and see if we can get that down a little bit. I'm trying to level up all the various devices. Good evening, all. I say to you all, good evening, Scotty, says Chris Grant. Wendy's there. Hello, Scotty. Dinky doo, says Mr. Boone. Good evening, everybody. How fantastic is that? Right. We'll open up the lines now, and you can come and join us. As simple as that. And then we can see who's uh, who's saying what to whom that's what it's all about but i'd like to get my wee introduction so there we go there's somebody ringing right now who's ringing let's see if we can find out wonderful stuff hello hello you're live on scotty's phone in who's that oh dr minus martin how are you hello martin how are you Sorry, I, I couldn't take your call earlier because I have to do my introduction. I know, I know, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's just if somebody's ringing, then we can't get the introduction done because all we can hear is the phone ringing. I know. <laughs> anyway, not a problem. Lovely to hear you. Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo. But, um, thank you for uploading those pictures from the... Um, oh, did you see them? I thought they were very good, Martin. I thought you were very good. I know, but I've um, downloaded them and I've put them on the hard drive safely. Wonderful. Well, they're up on YouTube as well. Thank you. Thank you, Scotty. So so there you go. Now then, what's happening with you? Um, I am still watching Take the High Road as planned what I did this morning. I'm still Fantastic. watching for a lot, lot more. Yeah. Um, it's got a great history to it, Martin. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of history, I. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, I don't know what you thought. Uh, I don't know if you're a rugby man, but I was very, very chuffed with the rugby. Same, I, um, I do like rugby um, as well. So Scotland did really well. So. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There's Mark tonight saying hello to you, and Callum yeah. saying hello as well. That's rather good, isn't it? Hello, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you've, so you've got lots of people saying hello to you, you see? Nice. What, what about, do you remember um, Heartbeat and the Royal? Oh, very much so. Loved them. Absolutely loved them. I thought the Royal was absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and Heartbeat, I mean, I just loved Heartbeat. You know, my, my favourite was probably PC Ventress. Yeah. Because he was so chill. But they were all excellent in Heartbeat. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, really well, it was lovely to see all the 60s cars. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. Uh, I loved uh, um, Sergeant Blaketon as well, Derek Fowles. Uh -huh. You wouldn't believe that's the same man that used to do Basil Brush. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Remember Basil Brush? Yeah, I still remember that. And Basil Brush had Mr. Derek. Well, that was Derek yeah. Fowles. Do you remember Yes, Minister? Yes. Well, he was Bernard. He was the young civil servant with Jim Hacker, the minister, and Sir Humphrey. Yes. There we are, you see. I'm not yes. just an athlete, you know, Martin. And there's um, things like um, Miss Mumford's Bramwell. Um, All that. Oh, wonderful stuff. There's been some fantastic telly in this country, but like so many things, 
It's getting wrecked. Why? Why, uh, is, it, why, is, it, why is it getting wrecked? Scotty? I don't understand, but we're not getting television of the caliber that we did have. I know, I know. You know, I think I think that's the whole thing. So there you go. I I don't know why it's getting wrecked. Mm -hmm. I think maybe I think maybe they don't have the training and the people to produce that stuff. Yes. But there's a lot of very good stuff as well. You know, let's not kid ourselves. Some of these Sunday night dramas are very good. London, London, all that used to be on. Yes, yes, I remember them. Yes, oh yes, and the bill. We were talking about the bill earlier. Martin, I'd better dash. It's lovely to hear you. And dinky do. Thank you do to you, Scotty. Love you. What about Martin and Emma? Martin and Emma, and have a lovely evening. See you later. You Fantastic. You, Top man. There we are. That's our Martin. Wonderful stuff. To the telephones, guys. You're watching Scotty McClue. Can you see a bit more of me tonight? We're trying various experiments. And I've got another device to see if we can also share to let everybody know what's happening. <laughs> Here we go. You live at Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Yeah, Who's that? Hello? Can't hear you. Hello? Can't hear you, lad. I don't know what's happened there, so... We got the start of it then. Hello? Can you hear me better now? Yeah, that's a bit better. That's fantastic. Yeah. My friend Elliot told me to call in from last week. Oh, quite Elliot in London. Yeah. Yeah, what a top yeah. man. What a top man he was or is. Yeah, we're great friends. Oh, we're fantastic. Friends yes, absolutely. Spread the word around London. The next generation of Scotty McClue viewers. Yes, Scotty McClue fans. The the Scott, Scotty McClue fans, you know what I mean? It's just great fun. It's just a lot of fun. That's what we do. Isn't it? Could you mind me asking, where did you get the name First Lord of the Internet from? First Lord of the Internet. Well, everybody's always called me Lord McClue. And uh, you've got the, the real name for the Prime Minister is not the Prime Minister. That's a courtesy title. So the real name is actually the First Lord of the Treasury. And that goes a way, 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 way back. So I thought I would be the First Lord of the Internet. Well, it's a very creative name. Do you like it? Of course. Great. Float eye. The float eye is just something a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> we like that something a tiny bit different yeah of course yeah and how are you are you having a good time at the moment yes i'm having a great time also can i give a shout out to brendan to brendan absolutely we'll say yeah. dinky do to brendan and to elliot dinky do dinky do and we'll say thank you so much for finding us and coming on Good day. And you top man love. Fantastic. That is great. So there we go. Gentlemen calling from London. We love that. Thank you to Mr. Boone. Fantastic. Ilias. Yes, indeed. Uh, hi, Susan. Your case is Susan. Uh, not really Susan. I feel I'm being bullied, says Susan. How could you be bullied, Susan? Who's bullying you? Is this in real life? Thank you to Brendan. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you to us. Evening, guys. We've got Jerry. Jerry, lovely to have you with us, Jerry. I want to speak to the First Lord of the Internet himself. So there we are. Right. Fantastic. Steaky Bacon's in the house. We love that. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? He's still tiling. Hello, you're live. Ah, oh, poor soul. Doesn't know how to what the phone. The game on is still ringing. He's ringing through. I'm still dialing and he's on. Float eye. So there we go. Right. Two have we got on here. Dinky doo. We love you, Scotty. It says Wendan. Wendan, I thank you very much. Hello, Scotty lad. How's tricks? There's Mr. Martin. Uh, Susan, dinky doo. Yes, indeed. Beautiful call, Scotty. Love you lots. No problem at all, guys. An absolute privilege. To the telephones and let's hear from you. 
You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? 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 Yo. Yo. Yo, Scotty. Yes. Dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do. Lovely to hear you. Fantastic. To the telephones, guys, as quickly as possible. Lots to talk about and so little time to do it in. Um, we've been looking at a very interesting subject. Celtic did very, very well the other night with a fantastic result. And uh, I was thinking, would it be nice in the 70th anniversary of Her Majesty's reign to uh, put Royal in front of Celtic and Rangers? So the two Glasgow football teams become the Royal Celtic Football Club and the Royal Rangers Football Club. I think that might be quite a nice touch. To the telephones, you're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hey, uh, yo, you cut me off, Scotty. Yeah, I had to cut you off. I thought that you'd said all you were going to say. Don't worry, Scotty, I forgive you. Ah, oh, top man, I forgive you. Thank you very much. What a lovely thing to do. There we are, as did Ross County. Yes, indeed. Evening, Scotty. It's Kenneth from Lead Hills, the start of the Clyde. Now, Lead Hills and Wanlock Head. Is Wanlock Head not the highest village in Scotland? Yes, because I'm sure there's a village down south that tried to call itself the highest village in the UK, and they obviously didn't know about Wanlock Head. So there we go, guys. Now, let me see what's happening here. I'm going to try and uh, get on to the old YouTube and see if I can do a bit of sharing. I think that might be quite a nice touch. So if you can all share, if you're on YouTube and you see the arrow at the bottom, so there we are. It is Scotty, absolutely, Kenneth. <coughs> Guys, I love the instant feedback. This is tremendous. It really is wonderful stuff. Now, there we go there. So I've got the live. Let me see if I can share it. Yes, I can. So I can now share this and say that we are live now. Yes, I'm going to do that. Is that all right? Just bear with me, guys, and see if we can get this out there because I've got so many people during the week going, oh, I wish I knew that was on. You think, well, we did tell you, you know, so I'll just say live now, and we'll put at... Um, Scotty McClure. Yes, there it is. Right. So that's gone out on the YouTube for starters. Right. And I'm going to share it again, guys. Uh, I'm going to share it again, share it again, see how we get on. Um, I'll share it in uh, Facebook and on Reddit. And if you can all share as well, that would be brilliant. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Who's that? This is Elliot Boone Jr. Elliot, how lovely to hear you, and Dinky Doo. How are you? I'm very well, thank you so much for ringing. Uh, do you know a guy called Chris Aurora? A uh, what? Chris Aurora. Yes, yes, I know who you mean. Oh, you know who Chris is? He said he, said he wants to be your friend. Oh, that is a lovely thing, I thank you very much. You're live on Scotty's phone in, is that? Alan from, Glasgow, how are you? Alan from Glasgow, what was your call like last week? How outstanding. Listen, we've uploaded it. It was one of the leading calls. Oh, no, 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 no. But it came absolutely out the blue. Well, I can't I'm really devastated. I was maybe just my dinner, right, Scotty? Right. Oh, right. You were invited for dinner. Oh my goodness, the poor thing. Yeah, don't don't say don't say which one, obviously. No, no, I won't mention names, but no. a, a, a nice local Italian restaurant but the, the chef that did indeed. Oh no, I'm so, so sorry to hear that. My goodness me. I know it passed away. I passed away. Stop it, you rascal. <laughs> you had me going there. I thought the poor soul. On, on, on Tuesday, I was 
two serious no Scotty. Aye. Is it is it true that in the late nineties you were hauled up in front of the radio watchdog three times due to certain um things you spoke about on here? Uh I don't I wouldn't say hauled up. Uh, to be quite honest with you, but uh, we did have to have a word. But you've got to remember, I had quarter of a million people listening every half hour, right? Every half hour. Now, there's a radio station uh, this week had 9,000 a week listening, right? 9,000 every 10 every every few seconds you know i mean things i mean i get i can get 9,000 on here well i had 30,000 for a facebook live 30,000 viewers, 30, viewers on a facebook live you can That's see it i'll put it up and you can look at the little figure sitting there at 30k but you know you should do one nice Scotty. 10 to 1 I think you should do one night, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. See how it goes. You should, you should try that one night. Uh-huh. See if it's all gone, well. gone well. Finish up. What you should do is you should announce it the week before it. Yes. Scotty's mega, Scotty's big phone in. The big mega phone. Yeah, you should announce it the week before it. Yeah. 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 Y
and she was the wee girl in the test card. <laughs> because what you had to do, Alan, I mean, I don't know how much you know about um, broadcast studios, but the cameras used to get burn on them. And the best cure, they used to line them up with the test card and just train them on it. And the camera kind of recovered itself, you know? No, no. But, but, but see, when I mean, you fast forward, obviously, you remind, you remind the clock back to the, to the 80s and 90s and it was on the telly and it was the radio. <clears> and, then you look, and, you, and then you look at the rubbish that's on the telly at, at this time. You know, I, mean, I mean, who really wants to watch The Masked Singer? Well, I don't know what the audience figures are for it. I mean, that's what I would. That's the information I would need. It might be very popular. I don't want to watch it, and it might be very popular. But then also, I don't want to watch Ant and Dick Saturday Night. <laughs> but, I, but I remember a couple of years ago, I was talking to a couple of people in the town centre, and I actually offended them because they asked me my opinion of Big Brother. Uh -huh. I told them that I would, and I told them I would rather watch paint dry and they took offence. You know, How interesting. I mean, imagine taking offence whether somebody watches. You see, there's so much media out there. I saw a movie today. I just watched it on YouTube. It was fabulous. I'm not a movie person, Scott. The last movie that I've seen was... Um, I think you're a bit of a grafter, actually. I think you're born, you're, you know, you're born into hard work. Never been signed the hard squad. Never been signed. Well, you never should be. I mean, that's what it's all about. My first job was in the boats, and I absolutely loved it. No. Mr. Martin no. says, not enough people know about this man. I agree, no. Mr. Martin. There's Aaron no. says, Stirling born, Scottish, and proud. And I see, my first job was at a well known fast food place. Oh, yes. And I was on, and I was on two pounds. My first job, I started my first job in 1992. A uh, well known fast food place. Fantastic. And I was on £2.60 an hour. £2. My first, how about this one? My first <laughs> job paid just under a tenner a week. No, sorry, just over a tenner. Was that £2.60 an hour? That was for a whole week. Wait, I'll tell you this. Here's what about this for reach, right? Here's Welly Pat. I live where Heartbeat was shot. Live where was he lives where Heartbeat was shot. Heartbeat was on a Sunday night. It was a brilliant series in Yorkshire. I mean, you don't live in Yorkshire, do you? No, I did live in Yorkshire, but Willie Pat right. says to me, I live where Heartbeat was shot. Right. They're 40 I mean, towers. Scotty, do you know? Oh, he's asking me about people. There were El Dorado was forgettable. Yeah, it, it, I think it failed, didn't it? That was that was that program in Channel One, wasn't it? That's right, that's right. But it, uh, I think it failed. El Dorado, I think it was based uh, out with San Sea and Sangria. Uh, I'm not saying, well, uh, if you would ask the local alcoholics, they'll probably tell a tale about a bottle of El Dorado. Well, we'll not get to that. Do you remember that? The cheap wine. Uh, when was that? You were on uh, ten to twelve, and then Fat Bob twelve to two. Can't mind, loved it though, says Glaze. A lot of Scott FM fans are on here right now. Honestly, Scott, you know, there will never, there'll never be days like that. I mean, I know I keep on getting on about it, you know, but that was the best days of... Oh, that was the best days of radio in Scotland. There was nothing to touch that. <laughs> as soon as I had 10 o'clock, you know, you had thousands and tens of thousands of yep. people listening. And you could, have, you could have done 10 till 4. And still have oh, I would still have had it. Well, one night we locked the studio. People were doing their nut. I says, well, just stay on for a bit. So we locked the studio and played the music I liked. Aye, aye. You know, because it went for you being totally, you know, obviously as being branded a shock jock. Shock media. jock. There wasn't really much shock jockery. Oh, you spoke your mind, Scotty. I mean, you took no nonsense. We took no nonsense and we took no prisoners, but we let everybody go at the end of the night because we're going to do it again the next day. You know, and I do remember obviously, I used to listen every night, you know, you were quite um, to the court with some callers. Yes. We, we, well, if they were on wasting time, then if they thought they would come on and take up airtime when people were queuing up, then you might as well give them a piece of your mind. You know what I mean? 
tell me, Scotty, why, again, back then, Scotty Fenn, why were they so harsh on single mothers and women drivers? Uh, what we did was we wanted to get a bit of a discussion going about it. Same with the nurses, same with the taxi drivers. Same with the people who, uh, uh, you know, were perhaps struggling with food. You know, because that always, that, that cropped up every show. And honestly, every room in the back was on giving you a right half time. Well, that cropped up every show because people were right into discussing it. Uh -huh. I remember we got something like a month out of a discussion on stovies. And we still we still haven't solved it. Is there in stories? Uh, and we still haven't solved it. We still discuss it. Even on here, we discuss it. Well, I don't know if you've seen the stuff on Facebook, you know, like you should, people that post things. What is this? Is it a roll or a bat? You know, or what, what do you call this? A, a, a roll and sausage or a, or a sausage bat? That annoys me. Yeah, what is that? Do you call it lawn or square slice or what? It's a roll and square sausage. A rolling sausage. I just, it's just a rolling sausage to me. I wouldn't even think. Why would you order links? See, I don't mind links. I'll, I don't, no, I don't mind links, but why would you go in to a cafe in the morning and say, could I have some links on a roll, please, in Scotland? Yeah, but you wouldn't you wouldn't have it. I mean, you're gonna, you know, just you would well, you would ask for it if that's what you wanted. But if you ask for a roll and sausage, you're gonna get a square slice. I have a square slice. <clears throat> I mean, but I mean, I, I, I can eat links with my breakfast. I, I can eat links with like, a fry up, but I can't eat a square, but I can eat a roll and square. It's crazy. Here's a guy here, JD. Are you retiring this year, Scotty? Why on earth would I be retiring with another twenty years of work in me? <laughs> we know you did, Scotty. See, the right show you did. Do it with the banner half. Oh, no, no, we don't take the banner half. Me, banner. Scotty's <laughs> never, never had the banner. Well, no, we have the banner half in a couple of things. If you look up the YouTubes and some of the TikTok videos, when we announce things like uh, the, the Manchester bombing, no oh. banner, obviously, and oh. um, Prince Philip's death, no banner. Scotty, well, how old are you? Uh, I, we don't know. We think I could be between 32 and 2 million. Uh, so I'm, going for, I'm going for 60, Scotty. Because I'm a time traveller, you see. <laughs> but honestly, I mean, that, I mean, I won't hold you up any longer, but that's something to do. A big megaphone and 10 to 1. And, and it's an excellent idea. I love the idea, and I think it's one that I should definitely take on board. Because I'll tell you, Alan, and I'm not just blowing smoke here. You're pretty switched on. Very. And you know your radio and you know your Scotty McClure. I've been listening to you for 30 years, Scotty. So you know, and that's a real speciality. It was interesting because what we did, as somebody said, Scotty, right, I got two things. I think I told you a compliment from the, the chief executive. He said, thank you for turning a half million pound project into 26 million pound success story. That was one. So that's that's the business side happy. The other one uh, was somebody said, Scotty, you introduced a whole generation to radio listening. So you had you had people who were really quite bereft since the BBC to off things like the McFlannels and uh, Jimmy Shand and that stuff. They'd loved all that kind of stuff. And then when that got taken off, they were kind of floundering for radio listening. Did you ever see Kenneth McKellar at the Ashfield Club? No, I didn't see him at the Ashfield Club, but I loved Kenneth McKellar. I abs and still to this day, he is exceptional. I mean, I know Kenneth's passed away now, but his voice was exceptional. And as a student, I can remember being very excited seeing Kenneth coming in to talk to the head of singing. No, I'll tell you what happened there. They were struggling to staff it at the weekend. The staff were quite thin on the ground and they obviously valued their weekend. And then, you know, they, they were suddenly hit with this 
uh, Friday night late, Saturday night late, Sunday night late, big phone in show. So I could I could just tell that some of the staff were going, oh, huh, oh this is getting a bit much. No, no, they hadn't. They weren't able to work that out. And they should have been, actually, because one of the big bosses knew McClure well. It's very, very strange, but, I mean, that's what you get. And, uh, you know, I just knew, I thought, if, if, if you get somebody who's a music programmer into this, I don't have a chance. Yes, that was it. Because I remember when I was at my height, somebody went to one of the big bosses, a programmer, a music programmer, and said, should I tell Scotty about this? He said, you don't touch Scotty. He said, all right. He said, you you run the, the, the normal cars. You don't touch the roller. And that was him. He actually told the guy off because the guy was going, well, I, wh what do you want me to say to Scotty about this? He said, you don't touch Scotty. You don't go near Scotty. If there's a problem with Scotty, I deal with it. <clears throat> you see? No, no, because, I mean, the, the nighttime shows are better. I mean, during the day, a lot of people working, but the nighttime shows, you know, always were the best. Yeah, but people managed to hear the during the day. The during the day audience was twice the night time. But the chat wasn't as good, Scotty. Well, no, you couldn't do the outrageous stuff because it was during the day. <laughs> during the day, it was a lot more shockable rather than the night. Uh, uh, the nighttime stuff was more shockable, a bit more to the bone. Well, I think, I think yes. I mean, everybody was listening to it, even if they wouldn't admit to it. That's what. That's what. That's what always made me laugh. You know. Did you never have a play? Well, no, I did get involved in one, but we had a, a stewardship problem, and I'll not, I'll not go into that on here. No, you know, but, but I still, uh, I still think it's time for another one. So how far away do you think you are from coming back on the airwaves? I don't think that far at all, actually, because I think we've done everything. I have nothing to prove now. Yeah, we've made people very, very rich. And, um, you know, I haven't made myself rich, but uh, but rich is not to do with money. No, no. But what, I mean, what stations could you, like local stations, could you maybe do? You know, the, the, the Scott FM. Well, well, your problem is, you see, Scott FM had everything in the right place at the right time. And I recognize that. And that's why I got in touch with them. I got in touch with them. Because I, I looked at everything and I thought, this is a huge radio station. It's struggling a bit at the moment. It's a brilliant idea. It's backed by two ITV stations. What's not to like? No, no. And when I phoned the boss at first, he was a bit off of me. He said, oh, what a shame. We've got all our staff. Thank you. It's a shame you didn't ring us earlier. And then... A smart cookie rang and he said, did you ring earlier? I said, yes, it was me. He said, um, you know, do you do you come to Scotland much? I said, well, I come to see my parents every month or something. He said, when are your next coming up? I said, well, probably in a couple of weeks. He went, do you want to come tomorrow? And I went up to see him and um, by the next week we were on. Mm. You know, but honestly, I think you should make it the wheels in motion and again back on the radio. Yes, I think that's the winner. But I love our phone-ins that we're doing here. They are what they are. Oh, I absolutely. But as I say, you have to strongly consider, Scotty, 10 to 1. 10 and to I 1. Think last, I, I think after the last week. I don't know. Do you not think people are changing? Do you not think 10 to midnight? No, no, 10 to 1, Scotty. You, know, you would have to be, you know, a, a, a reminiscence of the Scott FM days. I think I confused a lot of people last week. Remember, I put in call Scotty now, 0845 100 to 1. Ah, you did. I was saying, don't give that number out. We've got a new number. You know, but honestly, I think you should two, definitely get back on the airway and, 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 and two, um, seriously consider doing a, a big phone in 10 to 1. 
And Honestly, see what happens. Alan, a privilege talking to you as ever, and we will put that to the nation. Thank you, do Lala. There we are. What do you think of Alan's call there, guys? 10 to 1, the big foot in. Not enough people know about this. She's forgotten more than the whippers, snappers out there. There we are. Absolutely. What do we got here? You're live in Scottish Halfwits. Oh, yes, we will do. Yes, they'll be getting a knock on the door. Yes. Oh, yes, I think that's going to be the next step without a shadow of doubt. Yes. Yes, I think I think without a shadow of doubt, that's what we're going to look at. The lovable lassie. The lovable lassie, ten to one. Brilliant, man! Brilliant. We, we, we had a lot back in the day, We certainly did, Rab, and uh, I know you were saying a lot of the boys appreciated it as well. Oh, I guaranteed it was a laugh. <laughs> you know? It was a, a thing at night. If, if you, you, could, you could do have a laugh, phone in. State your problems, state whatever you want to say to, say to yourself. Yes. And then just, it, it, it was a buzz, it, it, it was a crack, so it was. It was good crack. Yes, exactly. And the, 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 one, the one you done about the, the, the lovable, the, who was that? Actually, I can't remember what I'm talking about, the, the lovable uh, mothers and all that. Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, we looked after people. That's it, aye. Don't, 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 uh, uh, you know that kind of thing. Keep, keep your hand on your hip, day. Uh, aye, exactly, that's <laughs> it. Well, back, back to the day, Scott, it, it, it was good times. Absolutely, Rab, and we will recapture that again because the country needs that. You know, I think the country needs that, Rab. I think that's what we're missing at the moment. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think I'll be attending any parties at number 10. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have been attending them if there'd been COVID anyway. I will see we'll see what happens there. Absolutely. But listen, Rab, always good to hear from you, Chum. Uh, well, exactly the same to yourself, Scotty. You, you take care of yourself. Appreciate it. And you back take back care of yourself as well. You're a great character. You need to get back in this radio. That's what we're looking at. Think you do that. Uh, Love you, Love you to bit. You take care of yourself. There we are. That's our rab. What a guy. How amazing is that? We love it. Right, to the telephones as quickly as possible. Sorry about the half-witted idiots, but they're not mature enough to handle um, a show like this. Uh, that's the level that some of these people are at. They could just shout and bawl down a phone because they're unable to hold a conversation. It's a sad indictment of today's society. But there we got it. We could see it firsthand the way some people are. Not a problem. To the telephones as quickly as possible. How are we doing for time? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe we've got about 12 minutes of the show left, guys. It passes in a flash. Absolutely amazing. Wonderful. But lovely to have you all with us tonight. And we've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Tremendous stuff. Dinky do, I say, to everybody who's uh, who's phoned up. Even the half-witted idiots, these poor souls, you know. I mean, that's just the way they are wired. Hello, Scott. Hello, Scott. How are you doing? There we go. Fantastic. Now, I don't think we'll take any of these calls, actually, guys, uh, because they're not the best thing for the show. 
and they're not bringing anything to the show. There we go. Fantastic stuff. That's that. Lovely, lovely. Thank you very much for that, I say. And there we go. And I'll just I'll just block some of these. Um so see if you can have your number nice and clear. I'll obviously report the uh, uh the baddies, the wee baddie that was on. Uh, we'll get that sorted and get his gas put at a peep, as they say. Fantastic stuff. Anyway, um, what do we think the main subject for discussion tonight was about Royal Celtic? Yes, yeah, Celtic did so well the other night, and I thought we need to look at uh, Royal Celtic. So there you are. Tell us what you think about that. Very, very much appreciated. You're live in Scottish phone in. Who's that? Thank you, Scotty. Ah, Professor Nubtihid, how are you? Me, myself, and I were, were fine, Scotty, all three of us. Lovely, we're lovely to hear you tonight. Sorry about the half wits. Oh, no, and the Nubtihid's half wits, I enjoyed it. I think just as you become more popular, you attract the half wits as well. Aye. Listen, I'm just going to turn my telly down. Some Nubtihid's coming over. Right, as long as it's not me. <laughs> right. I'm going to nip your heat, Scotty. Yes, uh, nip, nip away, nip to heat. I'm, I'm going to give you a headache. Your, no, your call was very good last week. It was very interesting. Oh, well, here, wait till you give the night. I, I uploaded it. Oh, heavens. I'll get the fan mail soon. Yes, yes, we right. uploaded it. Now I'm... I'm currently resting in peace the now, Scotty. Right, you're resting in peace. You're requiem uh, scattering in patchy while you're alive. No, I've just got the feet up and it's nice and quiet. Requiem requiem scattered patchy, that's the Latin. And uh, did I tell you, I, I moved next door to a graveyard, so all my neighbours there today. Oh my goodness me. I could remember a guy saying he, he could get me somewhere to stay. He said, it's a nice place. He said, there's the undertakers. A uh, guy does the undertaker. I said, no, I'm not. He said, listen, son, I've never heard of anybody being frightened by a dead person yet. Well, listen, my neighbors that are in the graveyard, you know, they're resting in peace. Take they're peace resting in peace. peace. Absolutely. Now then, I think you'll find there's lots of us living close to graveyards and we don't even know about it. Because you look how far back time goes. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely, Scotty. And they're picking up all these bones. They're doing that in Edinburgh. They knew with the tram works. They're having to um, Absolutely. Excavate, excavate bodies. That's, um, well, you look at Edinburgh uh, all the way along there, you know, the, the old churches and the graveyards and what have you. Aye. Now, Scotty. Now then. I've got the answer. Wait a minute, just sorry to interrupt you, but see, what? you know, if you go towards the Nelson Monument in the city, you walk right along Princess Street. Aye. Is there no an old cemetery around there? Oh, aye, aye, Colton Road, Scotty. Aye. Aye, aye. aye and see aye, where aye. the Scottish office is, the one that was built in the 30s. Aye, uh, aye. That was the old Carlton Jail. Correct, and if you go down the bottom, uh, you're into the Cannon Gate Kirkyard. You're into the Colton Road at the bottom before you come to the Cannon Gate. Aye, before you go, but if you get right down the bottom, the Cannon Gate Kirk backs on there, and the Kirkyard backs on to the bottom of the Colton. Am I not right? You're spot on, Scotty. See, I'm not just an athlete. Absolutely. <laughs> I've got the answer. You've got the answer for me. Fantastic. The answer to the question that's never been asked. Yes. Well, I've got the answer. You've got the answer. That's what we like. You hang on to that. That'll be worth money. It will be. It will be. But listen, I'll have to explain myself because nobody cares what the question is. Right. What is the question? I don't know because it was never asked, but I've got the answer. Ah, you've, as long as you've got the answer, you hang on to that. That'll come in handy. And then when somebody asks the question, 
They say, do you know about that, Scotty? I'll say, I don't, but I know somebody who will do. And that's oh, you, absolutely. Numpty Heat. Right. Can I tell you the answer? You can tell me anything you like. Right. You know how Star Trek says to boldly go where no man has gone before? Correct. Well, you can't say that now. They changed it. How? They changed it to, they changed it to uh, where no one has gone before. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. We need to be very careful that we don't lose our men and our women. We need to be, no, no, listen, we need to be very, very careful of this. We need to find out whose agenda this is and get them right out into the open on the telly telling us why we can't say this, that, or the next thing. And then we decide as a people. People don't dictate to us what we can say and what we can't. So we need to be very careful of this, Numpty you know, people going around going, oh, no, no, you can't say men. No, it's got to be people. You say, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. It is men. Well, Scotty, you know, I find that discriminating. Uh, the, that, is, the, that is discrimination. It's discrimination no, 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 against no. men and women. Now, listen, dogs and monkeys were in space before humans were. Uh, Ken? So we should be... Uh, was the first one in space not Colonel Gargarin, the Russian? Yuri. Oh, Yuri Gargarin, the first man in space. I think so. I think he was 1959. Is that oh, possible? And did, and did you know the Americans spent a fortune trying to find a pen that could write in space, yet the Russians just used a pencil? <laughs> well, it's a thought, isn't it? It's the truth. It is the truth. It's absolutely. And do you know that your average mobile phone is about, is it 100 times more powerful than the computer that NASA used to use? Well, so is my calculator that I bought free with, with the serial books. That's more powerful than the. Absolutely. The used. You know, so there we are. It's amazing how technology is advanced. Oh, all the things are happening. I've got somebody on here from Sri Lanka. Hi, Scotty. What's the name of the hat you've got there? This is a Glengarry, guys. This uh, is the Glengarry, absolutely. You know, have you, have you heard of unfo unseen forces that cause damage? Have well, wait a minute. Here's Skin Bob, right? See if you can give Skin Bob an answer. If they go where no one went before, how come they kept meeting other people? Now, he's got a point. Aye, aye. I'll let you work that one out. He's, he's, before, other people. I, he's definitely got a point. Uh, I, I think he should have a lie down in a dark room for 10 minutes, Scotty. Yes, yes. Very, uh, very, very interesting. Now, listen, before I go, Scotty. Yes. Before I go, now, I believe there's a word for a unseen force. Is that correct? Unseen force. Yes. Cause havoc and damage. Right. What are we talking about? Now, some people call them poor guys. That's the one, a poltergeist, yes. I just, well, I just call it wind. Wind, unseen forces. <laughs> that causes havoc. <laughs> it does cause havoc. Lovely talking to you tonight, and dig he do. I know. Right, yeah. Cheery bye. Cheery bye, Professor Numpty Heat for Edinburgh. You can Ooh. tell by his accent, Ken. So there we are. Who have we got here, guys? And um, we need to get more people following Scotty. More people should know. Get the headache tablets out. And um, there we are. The man with the bonnet done it. We love that. The man with the bonnet done it. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Scotty. Jared John. Jared John. How lovely to hear you. Yeah, I just, I just caught you before you hit the bed. How are you, La? I'm canny, I'm canny. Are you? Oh, I'm absolutely canny. You're a canny man. <laughs> Lovely to hear you. Fantastic. What's happening in the real world? I don't know. I've never been outside for a good few months. <laughs> we had such a laugh tonight. It's been an amazing program. Yeah, 
a couple of wee half wits, but you know, you're always going to get that they're they're not able to handle the the, the subject, so they can't hold a conversation. Oh, yes, of course you did all the time because that's all they could do. That's right. You know, because that's all that's all they're used to hearing. If you think at home, if they say to their dad, can I get that? The dad goes, no! Uh-huh. You see, so they, they replicate that when they're talking to Scotty McClure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how's your day been? Beautiful. Fantastic day. We popped up earlier. And, of course, the rugby. Did you hear about the rugby? Um, uh, I've got a friend who follows it. Yeah, England, England, uh, Scotland and England, and what a game. It was fantastic. And Scotland won. They won the Calcutta Cup. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there's a lot of that uh, goes on, of course, around the northeast, isn't there? Yeah, there's, there's always been like a lot of club rallying, you know. Yeah. Um, but I, do you remember the old, the old days of the old Lombard RAC rally? Where yes. Started, like down in Chester. Lombard in RAC. I can remember the police um, yeah. booking race cars going by because they were all they were traveling too fast. And they were going to the rally, and the police said, no, it doesn't make any difference. You are speeding. So you had all these wonderful old sports cars, you know, uh, giving it a (laughs) And that was them just going to the rally. There's Adam M says, give a shout out to Mr. Martin. The Celtic Royal Football Club, the Royal Celtic Football Club. Super Sam Pam says, Scotty, you're so loud. Turn your gear down, Sam Pam. We can't just cater for everybody. Lovely talking to you again, says the wonderful Alan. How's Mrs. McClue, Scotty? Oh, fantastic. I tell you, we had to get rid of the butler, Johnson the butler, because of COVID. No. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, great. So Johnson had to go, so I've, I've had to make my own tea now. The dog's passed away, sadly, about this time last year. But he was 14 and a half. I didn't realize that. 14 and a half. Not bad, is it? No, well, labs do last a long time. Your dad's lab lasted lasted about 16 years. Well, I know it's amazing if you can get them past eight, because a lot of labs go maybe eight, nine. That kind of thing. But if you can get them past about eight or nine, then they can live for a good old while. It does eventually, you know. But I mean, little Clyde had his hundredth yeah. birthday a year past at Christmas. Ah, right, that's right. Was it work out again? Job years to one year? Uh, seven. Seven. seven so he was seventy and twenty-eight. So he was a hundred and eight. Oh, well, he got to pension years anyway. Well, it, well, he was actually a hundred and ten. We saw, but it was great. It was just absolutely fantastic. Good grief, Scotty. That's great. Amazing. Listen, it's been lovely hearing you. I can tell you. Oh, good on, Scotty. I always try to listen when I can. But I, I normally talk to my girlfriend in Poland between 9 and 10, you know. Oh, wow. So Fantastic. So- well, everybody's got something to do, but it's just nice if you can drop in occasionally. Thirty years now. There's Mr. Uh, uh, what do we got there? Scotty for Prime Minister. That's all right, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Scotty for Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah, that's what we've got to do. Shift the border around. I always believe that. I think that. Yeah. No, no. Our 
government doesn't know what goes on out of the borders of the M25. That's it. They haven't got a clue. No, we don't exit. So I mean, we they, don't exit. they haven't got them a clue. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And you know what? The people in Glasgow always say the Geordies a Scots movie's head kicked out. <laughs> Listen, lovely talking to you, and you take great care of yourself, and thank you do. No bother, Scotty. See you later. All the very best. Okay. Fantastic. Ta la la. There we are. What a great guy. We love all that. Now then, uh, lots and lots happening tonight, guys. I'm just looking at the time. I think we're going to have to go soon. There we go. I uh, do apologize for the wee half witted idiot that uh, had a dirty, filthy, mucky gob. But I would imagine that's the way he was brought up. And he's just heard it from his parents. You know, that's just the way of it. That's what you get. Now then, I'm just having a look at how things are. My goodness, we've got one minute. So we'll say bye-bye to our beautiful, beautiful TikTokers. And dig do there's somebody from Strontian in Scotland. Is that not just amazing? There we are. Night-night, gorgeous TikTokers. There we are. That's them away. Fantastic. What a great night that's been tonight. And uh, to our beautiful YouTubers, thank you so much for joining us. Take great care of yourself. A fantastic night tonight. And uh, hopefully we'll all be getting together at the same time next week. I take on board uh, what Alan was saying about uh, about the phone-in uh, YouTubers. I think that's amazing. So a uh, great show tonight, says Kirsty. It was good stuff. Good show tonight, says Gordon. Absolutely. The wonderful Neil O'Gormley. 2017 for Scotland, Jerry. Cheers, Neil, says Jerry. Good night, everyone. Good night, Kareem. And uh, we'll get you tatty by Scotty, says the wonderful Mr. Martin. Good night and God bless, folks. And uh, stick your tongues out and say, ta ra -las!